Hi, it's Andrew again from Android Central. Uh, today I'm going to do a, kind of a little bit of a different tutorial for you. Um, I'm going to actually use my tablet here, which is an original Asus Transformer TF101 uh, Wi-Fi edition. There's no 3G version available in the US. Um, I'm going to take it, use this dock to connect the PS3 controller. Um, on this version, or on this tablet, you need the, the dock because that's where the USB ports are. You have two of them on it. Um, other tablets will work as long as it has a USB port. Um, I'm not sure if ice cream sandwich is a requirement. You may be able to do this on uh, Honeycomb. Uh, I haven't tried this in, before I had the ice cream sandwich update. So um, what you're going to need is a USB cable with a... Um, a mini USB port because that's what the PS3 uses so it looks like that um, uh, you're gonna need a tablet with a USB port and a PlayStation controller um, turning on my tablet now so it's gonna take a little bit and a little bit of a note I also have a little jam box controller here because I want to show you that you can actually connect to uh, portable sound because this thing doesn't really have the best speakers um, but you can connect to the uh, Jambox or other Bluetooth stereo while you're also using the Bluetooth controller. Um, you do need the cable in order to connect it because if you try to connect it, it's going to ask for a pin, which none it really exists. You have to use the cable to for the authentic um, authentic authentication part of it. Um, now. I thought you would have needed an app to do this, but it's kind of, it, it's null and void is built into the Android system, which is great. I don't know exactly a full list of tablets that this supports, so you may need to, it may be a trial and error thing for you. Um, I would say it's probably a safe bet that any uh, NVIDIA based uh, tablet would be able to do this. I got this procedure off of NVIDIA's little uh, app and it's pretty neat. I, uh, I'm i going to pull up uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and show you that the controllers do work. It's a little weird. Um, you can also navigate through the, the, the operating system without the uh, uh, need of your finger or touchpad or anything. You can use the controller to navigate. And uh, I apologize about the brightness and everything. It's My apartment's very dark. So I'm going to try turning this brightness down a bit. And then you can see other things easier. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into the settings. We're going to the Bluetooth settings. And uh, right now you'll see that the PlayStation is not there. Um, the controller is not there. However, if you press the button on the, on the PlayStation and you uh, search, so it's searching. It'll show up on the bottom when you search for devices. So you PlayStation 3 controller. Now if you try to click and do it, it's going to ask you for a pin. Um, and there isn't one that's going to work that I know of. Um, so that's why you need the USB cord. Now all you need to do is go to any of the two USB cords, ports on the dock. And I I kind of hate these things, they're kind of a pain. I apologize about the shaky video. So I'll plug that in. And then plug it in on the controller. And then this authentic, it's just gonna pair it, no pop-up. And there you go, it's paired and connected. So now I can actually use this to navigate through the Android system. Uh, trying to figure out which one goes, but ah, there we go. So, kind of try to show you what I'm doing. You can navigate. Now, this will be useful for video games that are on the Android system. So, I'm gonna pull up Grand Theft Auto 3. I haven't really played this game that much. Kind of wish I had, but uh, I'm going to try to do this one-handed, which is not going to work out very well.
Uh, I do believe you have to tap. I don't think I figured out any buttons that work for that part of it. But uh, from now on, like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm using the controller. I can resume. Actually, I think square is actually like what you would use X for in most instances, like on the PlayStation. So it's kind of neat. Now, another good thing you can do is this um, tablet has um, an HDMI port here on the side. You can hook it up to a much larger TV and play from the couch. Um, here's the, the sound. You can't really... The sound isn't that good, but as soon as I turn on my jam box here, it's, gone. it's paired. And now it's, it's going to come in through here. It's much, much louder. So you have two Bluetooth devices. Uh, I can, so disconnect it so you can set it. You still use it while it's not connected by the USB. Okay. That's, that's it. That's a little review on how to pair a PlayStation 3 controller with an Android tablet and another Bluetooth device also working on it at the same time. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know.